last bit, which was a long arm toss out that can sometimes wrap up. And that's going to look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And our goal on this long arm is that when we're stepping into it, our one, two, three, away, away, stretch. And followers create rotation, leaders are creating the distance for that line. So as we either keep the hand, we have our step, 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 tap, step, 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 kick or twist. And then when we're letting go, every time when we let go, we're just pacing this down the line. We're catching our partner. Then keeping our regular footwork like a so like a regular toss out. Uh, we reviewed the behind the back toss out and the uh, the regular toss out in terms of our stretch release. So when we talked about stretch, we talked about it as a pull, pull release, as a pull release. And that your leg for leaders is pointing the direction you want to step it. And for followers that I'm really making sure I'm twisting on my foot instead of just my hips, I'm twisting my foot as I pull my arm and I look at my partner. I keep my free hand high, high-ish, it's like out versus there or back here, it's a little bit up. So here's behind the back toss out, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, we'd also say one, two, three, four, five, six, pull, release, one, two, three, five, six, seven. So for leaders, this is be our regular toss out. I would just turn my back on this behind the back one, and instead of stepping um, down the line where I face it, I'm stepping backwards into that step as we continue turning. And I'm not actually turning that far around, it's just like a half a turn. 